I'm going to do a full on test on Muriel. So let's check out how good a support she is. Hello everyone, this is Shinobi once again with another Awaken Chaos Era video. So today I'm going to do a full on test on Muriel and see how her buffs her and her aura affects us uh, and helps us in finishing off PvE, PvP, including Void Tower, right? So let's check that out. But before we move ahead with the video, let me remind all my viewers, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and certainly comment on my videos. So this is my Muriel. I've got her in full Raider set. These are the stats on her, 232 speed, 109 resistance, 27 focus, 26,000 HP. I am not bothered about the focus on her. I'm only concentrating on her resistance. Unfortunately, I can only get her up to 109 resistance. And she's in a full uh, Raider set with uh, health person boots, um, health person uh, ring, and health person um, necklace. Right? So that's what I have got her on. Let's go and check her out in uh, the dungeons. So as usual, we will first test her out in uh, Queen of Tides. That's where we will always be concentrating on first. So I'm going to uh, show her in uh, Queen of Tides. So I'm going to use Muriel, Jonathan, Natalia and Rachel uh, as far as the stats of my Rachel and Natalia and all of these other heroes are concerned i'll quickly show that to you so that you can also uh, use that if you require to do that so this is my rachel 1165 attack 154 speed 212 uh, crit damage 90 focus okay that's rachel then as for where is my natalia so this is my natalia she is on a guard set and a uh, speed set so she's got 172 speed uh, 6454 attack 331 crit damage uh, then finally my uh, Jonathan so he is on a revival set uh, and a speed set with 200 crit damage which is not what I'm looking at 110 focus 228 speed and uh, 21,000 HP so let's quickly look at this run how that goes goes and how uh, Muriel is going to help me in finish off this run uh, as quickly as possible. I'll be pausing on wave two because I do not want you to waste want to waste your time on it. Just look at her first. Uh, look at the first wave. So as soon as she's buffing up everybody, you can see that she has got her aura on everyone, and that gives us much more damage than what we would have received uh, from the usual stuff. Okay, we are not going to get this kind of damage unless we have much higher uh, stats on all of these heroes. So here we are at the queen and she goes in, does her stuff, gives us buff, ensures that we are topped up, we are getting more damage on everybody, uh, more uh, damage capability on everybody, especially my Natalia. Uh, and of course my Rachel is also getting sufficient damage. And because I've got Jonathan over there, I'm getting that additional shield as a buff out there, which gives me more damage so i'm able to deal much more damage uh, because i've got that one additional buff on me and i'll be able to get rid of that side minion without any problem and pretty quickly even without actually targeting him because i'm already fully buffed up especially when natalia she's going to get bonus turns because she's got four buffs on her so she'll uh, just keep dealing more damage on everybody and i just hope that i get attacked so i always have my uh, shield on me so here we are uh, at the almost at the final stages of the run. You can see that Mural is cleansing my Natalia, even though her immunity was not at, uh, at place. I'm getting cleansed and so I will not miss out any turn. And of course my Natalia will consistently get those bonus attacks and which helps me out. And my Rachel is able to cleanse off all those buffs from the Queen. So I'm consistently moving ahead and I'm getting sufficient damage and I'm able to move fast. Uh, this is only required if you do not have opal if you have opal i can get a much faster run using it because i'll be getting multi hits from opal uh, ensuring that i get more damage but at the same time i can also use muriel 
uh, and she can also be used in uh, in which other way even in tulpa so i'll be showing you a tulpa run now as soon as this run gets finished i'll be showing you how i'm able to get more damage in tulpa uh, in uh, which other wind and in tulpa right so basically uh, muriel is there so that i can get those additional hits from all of my allies whenever they have got four or more buffs i can ascend her if i'm able to ascend my muriel then i will certainly be getting uh, more damage out of her because i only require three buffs on me and you can see the uh, battle that i took is three minutes 54 seconds and that's because uh, i took a few more rounds over here but overall i can get uh, something around three minutes uh, to three minutes 30 seconds and uh, that will be the average when i when i'm using muriel she's not going to give you the fastest of the runs because i'm using jonathan and i'm using uh, my rachel over here that's because i want to have some survivability with me without jonathan without rachel i will not be getting those heals and those uh shields and anyway shield is also going to be counted as a buff so i'm getting additional buffs there for my natalia to do her uh, do her bonus attacks we are now here at Witch of the Wind and let's look at the team that I'm going to use here. Uh, yeah, obviously I'll be testing it with Muriel. So I've got Muriel, you, ha you have already seen her gear, um, but I'll have to change the gear on my Natalia and on my uh, Opal. So in Opal, I've got her at 224 speed, 5600 attack, 327 crit damage. Uh, then I have got my Florence over here. Now you do need Florence or, or Shane for this to, you know, get those additional damage. Uh, and having Florence with Muriel means that you're getting one additional bonus attack, okay? So you're going to be pretty much uh, topping up on your damage. So she has got 250 speed uh, with 112 focus on her, 23,000 HP. Um, my Natalia here is much more faster. So she is going to be... Uh, at 215 speed, so 230 speed uh, with 338 crit damage, uh, 5814 attack. So let's go ahead and check this run out. This is going to be take around eight to nine, sometimes around 10 rounds, uh, but you will be doing it much more faster than what you did in Queen, right? Uh, so, and yeah, we need to have uh, Muriel here because I'm. I'm getting bon uh, additional damage. I'm also getting a bonus uh, turn here, right? It's not just from Florence. It's also from Muriel that I'm getting that additional turn, uh, additional attack. And that is so crucial here. That allows me to finish off this boss without any problem. My Opal is able to get those two additional uh, bonus attack. And she's also getting, and both my Natalia and my Opal, because they have those four buffs on, on them, they're also getting her aura uh, Muriel's aura placed on them. That means I'm getting additional attack. Uh, I'm getting additional damage out of it. I concentrate on the right minion first. I try to get her out of the picture first, uh, get that right minion out of the uh, picture because that's the one that's going to place the shield. So I just don't want that shield to be placed on the boss. And so I target the right minion and get rid of him. And that allows me to finish this run much faster and much quicker than um, not using any, uh, not using that right minion. And now my run is 100% guaranteed because I get a lot of uh, shield, and I can also remove uh, a negative effect from one of, from one of my teammate uh, because of Muriel there. So she'll be able to remove that negative effect from my uh, uh, from my team because she's got that basic that actually cleanses. So yeah, so this allows me to do much faster run. So I'm currently at six round now just move yeah round six and you can see uh the boss's health over there she's almost at 25 percent uh and i am guaranteed to just finish this without any problem that's only because i've got flatterance and i've got muriel both of them allows me and gives me additional bonus damage and also bonus uh hits and also all those buffs that are, that gives me those additional damage. I'm always almost always getting uh, the attack up on all of my heroes, and that allows, especially my uh, Natalia over there, that allows me to you know deal a massive amount of damage on everybody. And of course, Florence is there to uh, heal me up. So in seven rounds or eight rounds, I'm able to finish off Witch of the Wind. That's only because Muriel is giving me that additional bonus damage, uh, right? And the bonus hits. So I'm able to finish this off in two minutes and 17 seconds.
So let us look at Muriel and see how she can be helpful in whatever hard. So I've got my Muriel, my Natalia, Baron and Florence out there in whatever hard. I'm trying to gain as many bonus hits as possible. OK, so bear with me uh, as I'm using Florence and Muriel here. So Muriel places those buffs even if she's uh, not using her ultimate. That's because that's her trait. That's her aura. She will place that as soon as it is her turn um, and we can't avoid that we cannot help it but gain those buffs so even if we do not want those buffs at this point of time at the first wave it will still be placed by muriel so it cannot be helped okay so i place defense down everybody increase damage taken let me stun somebody who should i stun um let's stun him let's stun emojin and do that hit on that guy all right so let's do natalia's ultimate she is not going to get a uh, and two bonus hits because uh, she does not have four buffs okay she's only got one bonus hit as, as she had only three buffs on her but she was able to deal those additional damage because of the defense down increased damage taken from uh Flarence and obviously uh muriel's aura now i can do baron's ultimate of course kajar is not going to die that soon but that's not a problem for us i can now move on to auto and just go ahead and do not have to worry about it kajar will die that's for sure i don't have to worry much about him i got that third bonus hit for on natalia because she had four and more buffs Right. So that's how Muriel can help you out in whatever hard by giving you those additional bonus hits. If you are having a lot of buffs, uh, it will be great to use a very good buffer who can place more than one buffs. Uh, Muriel already has got three buffs. And if you have any ad other additional buffers, it will be awesome. Yeah. So let us do one more round of whatever hard. Uh, yeah, we've got Alicia over here and she can be a problem when, when we have got a lot of buffs especially when uh, Florence does her ultimate, she is going to cause us a lot of problems, but can't help it. We'll have to face that. We will deal with that, okay? So let's see how this will go for us. Uh, let's get Natalia to do her ultimate here and deal bond damage over there. And then we'll look at the ult um, final flow. So let's first place the defense down on everybody, get Florence to do her stuff, that Alicia just one shot me. She just one shot me. I hope I can stun her, but she's going to have a lot of resistance. She's going to have so much of resistance. See that? I was not able to do anything on her, which is sad. But I had plenty of damage from my Baron. <laughs> That's because I have got my Muriel there. I'm able to finish this floor off because I have Muriel. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at uh, Arena and see how that goes there, okay? Okay, I'm going to use this team uh, in Arena. I did get my Afrini. Of course, I'll make a separate video on her guide. This is going to be a Muriel guide, okay? I'll make a different video for Af Afrini. So I'm going to use my Halia, Muriel, Afrini and Natalia. And these are the ones that I'll be using. Uh, at the moment, I've got my Afrini only at 60. I'll be getting her to 70 soon. Oh, I shouldn't be doing auto. I want to show you how this works. All right. So Muriel is going to do her ultimate here. And she's also going to give me some buffs. Right. So my Afrini, she's got some speed up. Oh, yeah. She's got speed up now. Let's see how hard she's going to hit. And she one shot that light Virgil. Ah, uh, no, not yet. I think I should be getting her to 70 and giving her some good gear, but that's fine. She should have got a bonus hit, but my Natalia was able to one shot them. That's okay. All right. So let's look at another team. It's all because of Muriel. Okay. It's only because of Muriel, it's not because of somebody else. Uh, this one is going to be a problem. She's fully ascended. That Aurea one over there is fully ascended. She's going to 
uh, do the, uh, what do you call, taunt on two of them, which is sad. Mm, let's just challenge that and see with the same team. I'm not going to change my team. Let's challenge that and see if my Afrini will be able to do something about that. Hopefully. So I've got two ta taunts. Okay. That's great because I had four buffs on me when Natalia did a double shot. Wow. I was taunted. I was literally taunted. But because I had more than four buffs on me, when Natalia was able to do what she she could do so well. Okay, let's try and try to uh, stun that Dark Hazel. Oh, he certainly has got, still got a lot of resistance. I should be able to take him out with my Aphrony. Yep, I should be able to take him out with my Aphrony. No. What? What kind of a health does he have? Oh, gosh. This is sad. But that's, that's fine. Anyway, his skill has gone down, so it's been nerfed. So he's not going to do the same thing that he, he's always able to do. Okay, so I'm not really bothered about him anymore. I will not be able to finish this in one round because of because he still has got that death, death immunity on him and I got nothing to remove that. Okay, I just can't remove it. But because my my Natalia has four buffs on her, she was she just kept doing her uh, getting bonus attacks, and which is great, you know. Doesn't matter. My Afrini will finish that off. She got her counter attack, and she's able to finish that off without any problem. Oh, this is great. Yep. Yeah. So I'm able to finish this off. Muriel is able to, because Muriel gave me those additional buffs, I, I got those bonus attacks. If I did not get that bonus attack, the other two would not have been alive. And you know, Jacosta can place those uh, block damages on everybody. And that would mean that I'll, I'll just be wasting my time going through uh, the entire run. And I'm grateful that I had Muriel with me. So let's go against this tanky team. Uh, obviously, I will not be able to finish the uh, Mithesia using my Afrini, so I will have to change my Afrini uh, and then use my Baron over there. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that Muriel's uh, passive, her aura, does not get affected by Godfrey. So you can check that out here, right? So I'll show that to you here. So when she places the buffs on everybody, it doesn't affect her uh, affect the uh, passive of Godfrey. Godfrey will not be doing his passive when she is placing the buffs. And that is incredible. Right, I'm telling you, that is the one of the best things that can happen for all of us. Like, it's impossible to get that kind of a aura. All right, Godfrey always, always does his, uh, does his passive when you are up against... Uh, when you are up against him and placing buffs on yourself, but she, she will ensure that you do not get affected by it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and see how this one goes. I hope that I'll be getting, uh, I have sufficient speed. If I don't have enough speed, then I'll be in a problem. All right, so let's go and stun this guy. Yeah, I was able to stun them. I should be getting a speed up on everybody. That's great. Now I've tried to do this. Get as much damage as possible. Yeah, that's awesome. I hope I can one-shot uh, Mitesha. Yeah, I, I was able to. Great. So you see, uh, Muriel's buffs and Muriel's aura is so good for us. It's so wonderful that you are able to use her in almost every other place where, you know, she has got the elemental advantage or elemental neutrality. If she has that elemental advantage, she will be shining for you she will do that job for you and i think like for a long long time this is one of the best support that has come through for us unfortunately i couldn't get her i got afrini instead of muriel so i hope that in one plus one i get either muriel or shane i do need both of those i don't have them okay the one muriel i have i have to return it back to ace 
So I do need an actual copy of Muriel. I do need an actual copy of Shane. So with finger crossed on, I hope on 13th, I'll be lucky and it will not be an unlucky number for me. And I'll get some um, good hero. I've got sufficient uh, diamonds with me. I've got 90 summons here. I'll be able to purchase some summons as well. Uh, and so I think like, on 13th i'll be making a summoning video and hopefully out of the four legendaries that i get one of them would be either muriel or shane so what do you think about muriel what do you think about this video that i posted let me know on the comments i would like to hear from you so until next time peace love and blessings to all of you see you in the next video